Episode 95. What are we gonna do with episode 100? Ep 95, take one. Today's video is gonna be something very important. It's about developing a style through mood boards and references. And this is something you do very, very early on in the pre-production process. In fact, it's probably one of the first questions that I would say you would ask a director, what sort of references do you have for this film, for this music video, for whatever you're doing? It's a very important question. And as a director, you should probably be prepared with references because your DP is gonna want them. Now I've been on jobs where there hasn't been a solid mood board or any sort of reference and it has been very difficult to work out what the director wants exactly. These sort of communication lines are really, really important to the production process. So it's very important to foster that in pre-production. Now most directors I've worked with actually have written director's treatments, have references and everything ready. And that's most likely done in the first meeting. Everything's crystal clear. And then from there we can start a discussion and back and forth about how to achieve that look. Now, depending on what sort of project it is, you could do one mood board, you could do multiple mood boards, you could do mood boards per character, per scene, per location. It's up to you. One TV series that I worked on, the DP actually created mood boards per character and she even handed it out to the camera crew. So the camera department inside the truck, we had pinned on the board, all of these different mood boards for all of these different characters. And it just, it felt so special because we were a part of it as well. We weren't just the crew there to support, we were a part of bringing that style to life. And it was just a really nice thing for them to do. So once the director has discussed the style, the references and the themes, you can take all that and you can start to do your research. If you've got actual references like films or particular paintings or photos or photos by a specific person, have a look at them, really study them, study the framing, study the lighting, study everything about it. If you're watching a movie or a short film, watch it multiple times. Make sure you watch it once so you understand what the story is and then make sure you watch it again and again and again and soak up all of those little details. All of this research will give you the basis for your mood board. So it's very important to take time with this step. So you can take those notes and then you can start to further your research into that theme. You can look at other references that are very similar and bounce all of these ideas off the director, that's very important. You need to make sure that you're both on the same page about it. Your mood board might go through multiple stages. You might give it to the director and they might be like, no, nah, that's not it. Scrap it, start again. You give them another one and they may like some of it, but not all of it. It's a process. Now, one of you lovely subscribers actually put me onto Shot Deck and I love it. Oh my God, it's changed my life. Thank you so much. Shot Deck is a great way to find different references. It basically has groups of images from almost every film we could think of. You can search by color, by location, by type of framing. You can search almost everything about a picture and you'll find what you're looking for. It's really handy. Now, when you're bouncing these ideas off the director, it's also a very, very good idea to include the production designer, the stylists or the costume designers, anybody who is involved in that image creation. That is a super important detail right there. Not a lot of people think about it. They just think, oh, it's just between the DP and the director. No, 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 no. Everybody who is involved in making that image possible needs to be there, needs to see something, needs to be involved in that collaboration process, especially when it comes to style. Because if your production designer isn't on the same page as you, isn't on the same page as the director, then you may have trouble getting a cohesive style. There are plenty of examples in cinema where a cohesive style just makes it all the better. Production design is a huge part of that. Then using that mood board that you finalized and created with the help of everybody, you can then create your color palette. Now the color palette is really important, especially if you're trying to do complementary colors with the production design or with the costume, that's an important factor to put in. Now going through this research is a really helpful step in the pre-production process and I'd highly recommend doing it on your next one. You'll see exactly what I mean. When you're prepared, you'll know exactly what's coming up and you can follow that image, that creation, that idea from start to finish. Not only that, but it also helps you determine what's required in terms of equipment, set decoration, everything. It's all encompassing. So I urge you on your next production, don't just go, let's just shoot it. Actually put the work in, in the pre-production stage and think about exactly what you want. It's going to help with communication. It's going to help with everything. Anyway, I'm sure that was a very short video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it wasn't too talking headsy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.